Hey, what's up guys? Long time no see. I have been quite busy this past week and this weekend, so I haven't been able to make a new video, but I am back now. And the puppies are in ultra play mode, so enjoy the background sounds. A little update about the plants that we planted in the previous video that I posted a week ago. They are growing very nicely. Not very straight, they're a little bit like crooked. I'm not sure if we need to put some like something in there to make them grow straight. Let me know in the comments. But today's topic is not plants, it is running once again because this weekend I ran my first race ever and I thought I would do a little race report slash race recap here on my channel. I actually also posted a race report on my running blog that is always linked in the description below, but I know a lot of you prefer watching video content over re reading blogs, I guess. So I wanted to just uh, talk a little bit about the race and actually just the whole weekend with the front runner gang. If you don't know what the Essex front runner team is, it's pretty much a running team a team for runners all over the world. I think the front runners exist in 30 countries and have 800 members approximately. The Swedish ASICS front runner team was created last year, so they have existed for a year and now this year they took in new members, me included, to uh, represent the brand ASICS because the front runners are connected to the brand, of course. And the goal for this project is to promote movement, inspire people to move and work out and enjoy themselves and be healthy. And it's not just for the elite. So of course there are people in the team who are unbelievable runners. And then there are people like me who are pretty amateur, started running a year ago, we're developing and we're inspiring people as we go. And you kind of need the whole spectra to be a truly inspiring and relatable team, I think, uh, which is pretty much the whole concept. So you don't have to be a pro to be a member, and that is why <laughs> I'm a part of it. So this weekend, the whole Scandinavian team, so Sweden, Denmark, and Norway, we met up in Oslo. And we spent Friday, Saturday, Sunday together, and the race uh, Centrum Löpet was on Saturday, and it was a 5k or a 10k that you could choose from, and uh, I ran the 5k. When I left home, I wasn't planning on running at all due to my injury that I have been struggling with since pretty much the end of February. And I started running again without feeling any pain about last week. So I was like, no, I'm not gonna run a race. Too risky, not a good idea. But then I thought, why not just see it as an extra fun training session, do my first race ever, get my first medal and that whole shebang and just have fun. There's no need to really like pressure yourself with every race. And I felt like I could run the 5k without uh, risking making my injury worse because I've been feeling pretty good lately. So on Friday after we arrived in the evening we went for a 5k run together just to kind of sightsee a little bit and we ran parts of the 5k course that we then ran on Saturday. We had a really really nice dinner together and then on Saturday it was race day but I mean, usually I feel like races are quite early in the day, but this race was late. My starting time was 5.30 in the afternoon, so we had the entire day to kind of like chillax. Um, I don't even remember what we did in the beginning of the day. Did we have a meeting or something? Sat oh yeah, we did a photo shoot, of course. That was the big part of the Saturday schedule. We did a photo shoot with a Norwegian photographer. He took awesome pictures of the whole Scandinavian team. And if you wanna check those pictures out, or at least some of them, check my Instagram or check my blog that are of course linked below. So we did a photo shoot. We took team pictures, we took individual pictures, we took running pictures, etc, etc. And then the time came for the 10k race to start around 4-ish. Uh, but we were not running, so we stood in the ASICS cheering zone, cheering everyone on. And then finally it was time to race! I didn't really feel any pressure or nervousness before the race because I was just gonna run for fun if I ran the slowest 5k of my life. I was perfectly fine with that. The 5k race only had two uh, starting groups, so it was quite mixed. Uh, it wasn't really super structured. 
what's like finish time started where etc etc so I was pretty close to the start even though I was not one of the fastest runners there but there were children and old people and all kinds of age groups all mixed up together and I don't think I was in the way for anyone who wanted to pass once this race started the first 200 kilometers 200 kilometers <laughs> the first 200 meters or so of the race were uphill and luckily we actually ran that uphill the day before during our sightseeing run so I knew that I had to take it quite easy in the beginning so I didn't burn out completely once I got over the hill. So I took it easy, ran up the hill and just kept running at the pace that came naturally to me. I was tracking my run on my phone but I wasn't looking at it, I didn't have a watch, I didn't have anything to indicate what pace I was running at at all so I just ran as fast as I felt comfortable running. I passed one kilometer and I thought that was easy. It's not usually that easy to run a kilometer. I'm usually quite tired already here but I just kept going and then I kept going and kept going and kept going and I was like god this second kilometer is extremely long because I really thought that they would have uh, like kilometer marks for each kilometer which apparently they did but I missed the 2k mark so as we started closing in on three kilometers where I actually recognized myself because at the three kilometer mark was the Essex sharing zone with all my teammates so I started recognizing that area and I was like oh I missed the whole 2k mark and now I'm at three kilometers and that gave me a little bit extra energy to keep going and there was actually a kid running in front of me the first like three kilometers or so and he can't have been more than 10, 12. I mean, boys are pretty small at that age, so I'm not sure what age he was, but say 10, 12. And after a few hundred meters, his right shoelace came undone. And I, that just made me so nervous because he did not stop to tie his shoe. He just kept going. And then after about two kilometers, his other shoelace also came undone. So I was just running behind him the whole time, just waiting for him to step on his own shoelace and face plant into the asphalt and break his entire face. So that <laughs> stress kind of, I don't know, I think it slowed me down a little bit. And then of course at the three kilometer mark where all my teammates were cheering me on, that gave me a lot of extra energy. I think my final time is definitely thanks to them for just, I don't know, giving me so much extra energy at the end of the race. The last two kilometers were quite tough because my stomach hasn't been very happy the past few weeks and it decided to start cramping up for the two last kilometers of the race. So there I was running quite slow, I think, because I was hurting quite bad. But then towards the end there was another, uh, like, Inofficial cheer zone with my teammates where they also cheered me on and that also helped a lot and I could actually keep going to the finish line Approximately 200 meters maybe from the finish line there was it was like a small hill and then Just downhill all the way to the finish line and I took out my phone to prepare to pause the recording as I crossed the finish line and then I saw that my time was actually way better than I thought and I, I knew it was quite close to my personal best in training since I haven't done any races before I don't have an official personal best but in training I saw that my like race time was really really close so I just ran as fast as I could the last stretch to the finish line and I didn't in fact know what my personal best was so as I crossed the finish line I spent the first few minutes trying to find my personal best on my phone uh, because I posted it on Instagram a few months ago and then I saw that my personal best in training was 27 minutes and 30 seconds and I finished the race, the official time was 27 minutes and 27 seconds. So I did break my personal best by 3 seconds. And considering that I haven't been running at all for the past 2 months, I've barely moved because of my groin injury, I'm pretty happy with that result for my first ever race. I'm happy to know that the work I have put into my running for the past year has paid off and I have not lost everything during these two months. And it felt great to run at that pace because I usually don't. I usually run way slower than that and a big reason why I could run that fast was because it was a race and you get a lot of energy and adrenaline from racing and all the people and all the like the audience and the other people running and it was just a great experience which 
usually sometimes probably makes you run faster. Let's just say that if I went out to run a 5k now in the forest all by myself, I probably wouldn't run a 27, 27, 5k. Or maybe I would, I don't know, I can't really say. But I am super happy with the result. I know 27 minutes is not super impressive, it's not elite, woohoo! There, there was no one who actually ran the 10k faster than my 5k. I thought I would finish my 5k in about 35 minutes, because that felt realistic to me with my injury and everything like that. And uh, the winner of the 10k, uh, actually a Swedish person, Mustafa Mohammed, he ran the 10k in 29 minutes, I think, and 50 seconds. And my teammate, David, he actually ran, he came in third place and he ran the 10k in 30 minutes and how many seconds? Four? Five, six, ten seconds ish. So they are extremely fast, and I just barely beat them in time when I ran half the distance. So not super impressive, but I am impressed by myself, and I'm proud of myself, and I'm happy with it. And I know there are people out there who run 5Ks in, I don't know, 13 minutes, and there are people who run 5Ks in two hours, and you shouldn't compare times to anyone but yourself to kind of compete with yourself and improve yourself and what i think is so amazing with the whole front runner team is that everyone is so supportive of each other no matter how fast or how slow you run they're always excited for you you're they're always excited if you break your personal best no matter how how long it took you to run and it's just they're super supportive and that's uh, it's a great feeling to be around positive, supportive, inspirational people like that. And I really, really, really look forward to the next race. I'm not sure when it'll be, but I, since I'm not running the marathon in June, um, I might run the 5k that's kind of as a warm-up for the marathon the day before. So maybe I'll do the 5k that I think is called Essex High Five or something uh, the day before the Stockholm Marathon. And I'll just do a marathon at some other time in my life. Probably next year, I don't think I will do any marathons this year. Maybe this fall or winter, we'll see how training goes, but for now I'm aiming at another 5k race before I do anything else. And of course I got my first ever medal! Whoa, whoa! I know a lot of people think it's ridiculous that you care about medals and stuff, but I mean, I think those people are usually people who don't have medals. <laughs> because when you run a race and you get a medal, it was pretty cool. Look at this. It's pretty cool. I'm super happy with my medal. I will be saving it. I will be saving all my medals because it's cool, it's an achievement, and you're allowed to be proud of yourself. I hope you guys have liked this little race report thingy I did. If you want to read a version of it, I don't know. Go to my blog or follow me on Instagram at least. I have a separate running Instagram if you want to keep up to date with my running journey. What's the word I was looking for? Running journey. Everything is linked in the description. Thank you for watching. Until the next video, uh, have a super good one. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.